Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing kind of a different video and I was searching on Amazon because I'm addicted to that site and I came across this affordable $8 eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. And let me know if you guys fit this looks familiar to anybody. Yeah, I thought it looked very similar to uh, the Jaclyn Hill palette and I know there actually isn't a fake Jaclyn Hill palette um, and this one doesn't say Jaclyn Hill it says impressed you but I found a lot of similarities <laughs> and I um, I don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette so I wanted it was this was eight dollars I was like hmm the colors all look really beautiful so I really wanted to review this palette for you guys and just a little disclaimer, I'm no way, shape, or form like promoting fake products. It's not actually a fake. It looks more like a dupe, I would say. This is more of a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill palette. So yeah, it was only $8, and I guarantee the quality will not be as good, but if you're on a budget and you or you couldn't get the Jaclyn Hill palette, this one looks a lot pretty similar. I've seen, I, I don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette myself, but I've seen it online, and. Um, all these colors look very almost identical except these ones or I think pool party this one these colors are supposed to be up here so the colors are mixed around a little bit but definitely very similar so yeah today I am going to um, do a little demo and put this on my eyes and then at the end I'll give you guys my final thoughts and let you know so it's more of a review I'll let you guys know what I think of this palette and if it's worth the eight dollars if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, I upload three new videos a week, and click that little bell notification down below so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to smash that like button, give me a big thumbs up, it really helps me out. And without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. So when you get it, I guess it's a popular brand on Amazon and they're known for having lots of dupes and stuff. And so um, this is what it looks like. And it's kind of like, it's pretty cheaply made. I'm not surprised, it was only $8. Um, it seems like it's made from a type of tin foil, but it's kind of textured and it's cardboard. And then the back, it actually has the ingredients. It's called, the, the brand's called Beauty Glaze. Um, I, and it says it's cruelty free. Um, I don't know how true that is and I don't know if I believe it, but it has all the ingredients on here. So that is pretty cool. And it's made in China, but it is on Amazon, and I'll have the link in my description. But and then it comes with this little thing here, and that's what the colors look like. They're all very beautiful. So I really, really want. That's what caught my eye when I want to when I seen this on Amazon. I was like, oh my god, I don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette. So let's review this and see if this is actually worth the eight dollars or if it's just. Uh, a piece of crap. So yeah, let's dive in. I already put primer on my eyes, so we're just going to take this color right here. With a fluffy brush, this one is by Quivange, another Amazon brand. It's just a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take that color and put that in my I already, like I said, I already put eye primer on, so like I said, I did, I did checked out a lot of reviews, and they said that this palette, like the colors, are, are pretty pigmented, but of course they're not going to be as good as quality as the Jaclyn Hill palette, but. Like I said, if you're on a budget or you, you're in like a place where the shipping is really crazy price and you can't get the Jaclyn Hill palette, hey, why not? It's eight bucks. A 17, sorry, my NYX uh, blending brush. And I'm gonna take it with, these colors look almost identical, that one and that one. But I'm first gonna take that one right here. Take that one. And I'm just gonna focus this in my crease. Mm 
Yeah, this palette definitely makes me want to try the Jaclyn Hill one. I know there is actually like, I know there is actually like a Jaclyn Hill dupe. Um, I didn't see that one on Amazon, but I didn't know. I don't know if I would have bought that one. I would have. I just bought this one because I thought it it looked very similar to the <laughs> Jaclyn Hill palette. So wanted to do a review on it and see because there's a lot of good reviews on this so I want to see if the quality is what people are saying it is I don't see how it could be if you know but so that's what it looks like so far um, not very it's not very pigmented but I'm gonna take this color right here the next one right beside it I'm gonna take this one right here same brush I already did my face makeup too. Okay. I'm gonna go in with that color right here. Same brush. My outer V. This one reminds me of Uninterrupted MAC. Uninterrupted. It's crazy. The pigmentation is actually pretty good. And then just any old blending brush. No product on it at all. And just kind of blend in the... Take this color right here. Place it right. Okay. Wow, that red sucks. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M330 with the red next to it. Wow, those reds really suck. I don't know why, but those the reds really are not good. Take that color again. Wow, some of the colors are like really nice and then the other ones just really don't blend. Like, uh, those colors are shit. Look at my eyes, oh my god. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put this one under my lash line. Then I'm gonna take this and put that on my brow bone. Okay, that's the best I can do with this. I'm definitely gonna do a, sw I'm gonna swatch these two for you guys at the end. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my eyes and then I will be back with my final thoughts, okay? Yeah, so this is made out of a really thin cardboard and I'm going to show you the swatches, but like this color was good. Um, but the, as I went into like these reds, these reds were horrible, like really bad. 
they're just like when I swatch them they look like they're bright but they're not once you put them on your eye they just they don't blend it looks patchy very patchy so um, the lighter colors definitely are a lot better um, this green's really pigmented but like I said they go on your eye you know but then they come off it's like they don't stay on and they're very very patchy very chalky someone said they're kind of buttery I really don't think so um, see like I'll show you the red ones here like this one that's what that looks like Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, very, very patchy. And yeah, so this is the look I did, as you can see. It's not the best. See how it's like really blotchy here? I couldn't, I put red, I actually put this red color, these red colors in my crease in the outer V, but you couldn't even see it because it literally blended away. <laughs> so. I'll put this link I'll put the link in where I bought it from in my description if anybody is interested but I would say just go for the Jaclyn Hill palette if you can get it because that definitely is going to be way more better quality a lot of fallout and I just found that when I was applying the shadow it was going on strong but then it was like coming off it was completely it wasn't blending properly so I was really uh, yeah um, the quality definitely is not very good with this. I didn't like it. I just found it, yeah, it looks pigmented when you swatch them, but when you put them on your face, on your eyes, it just, it doesn't blend. It looks messy. Like, this is the best look I could come up with today. Um, so I definitely was not a fan of this palette. I think you should just save your money. You know, $8. The Jaclyn Hill palette is, I think, $28, and this one's 8 I personally would just save my money and get the real one because that one definitely is going to be a lot better quality. Like these fakes are just, you know, they may look like it, but the quality of the product is definitely nowhere near. So, um, yeah, that is my review on this today. So this is definitely a miss, not a hit. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in my description. If anybody is interested in this, like these type of videos, or you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel. I upload three new videos a week. And click that little bell notification down below so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And comment down below. Let me know in the comments if anybody else has tried this palette and what they thought of it, if they liked it or not. And yeah, I'm going to show you the swatches right now, okay? so. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!